Daryl Crow here and I hope you're really enjoying it. I've been enjoying a lot of the comments and the postings that have been uh, given us. And today we're going to continue with what we started doing yesterday and we'll be bouncing around. We're going to be doing the top of the lighthouse and some other things too. I know it's exciting for you. You're almost finished with the painting. You can see the end in sight. And furthermore, if this is the first time you've been painting, you found out how easy it is to do. Now, I did get a question just the, uh, yesterday, and I want to make sure I answer it for uh, Bob. Bob, yes, we have a list of our art supplies. If you go to my uh, main website, DarylCrow.com, and you click on the store, you'll see something that has art supplies. So you go ahead and click on it. And as you scroll down, you'll see all of the supplies we use, the paint colors, uh, accessory, uh, and uh, you'll get a complete listing. So feel free to visit that page and use that as your guideline. We do not sell art supplies, but there's a lot of links in our links page to people who are good merchants and some even offer a great discount. So let's get started on today's lesson. All right, let's put on the top. And for that, I'm going to clean my brush, put that in here, grab my, um, well, let's go ahead and take a little bit of medium right in here because I really want a dark color. So we'll add a little bit of the red, a little bit of the purple right here into the black. All right, now, here we go. So let's just come right in here and just put this dark color right here on top. Now you may need to get the liner out for some of the really fine lines, but for the base I think this will do just fine. And uh, we'll have the building structure coming inside. Okay, see that how it's coming inside? So we'll go ahead and that will have a rounded appearance as well. Let's just fill that in, see? It's nice and dark. I think though I need to make it just a tad wider. Got all these critical design decisions to make. But hey, we can do it. We've been, I'm sure. Okay, there we are. Let's get a little bit more of that color. And we'll let the light bulb sit in there, which means we need a post. There's another post. And who knows, maybe there's a big post right there. And again, all righty. See, there's nothing fancy about a lighthouse top. Just like that. Now down here, I'm going to put this little bit of a circle here. You and I will figure that out later. You know what? Should have an antenna. Yeah, they call them lightning rods, but I'm sure they're really used for TVs. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now I'm going to switch over to the liner. That was our number one round. It's a lot thicker than the liner brush. Okay. And... So here we are, we've got the liner, go right into the even flow, alrighty, and then roll it and roll it and roll it. Alright, now why do we need this liner? Well first off we're going to put a fence right here. So see that? And there it goes all the way around. 
All right, the second thing is we need to put some uh, mounts right in here. See that? And we need another one right here. Just something to hold this on. But you know, we're going to have to repaint that. Because what happens is, is we end up with a shadow. Right about like this. See that? So, it's a real dark shadow. So, let's go back and get our number one liner. Our number one round. And I'll use some water here as the medium and it's going to be a lot darker than this shadow because it's a cat shadow see that see how much darker it is because it's really casting a shadow under that thing under the platform all righty so we'll put that back in and we'll go put back on our mounts and then we'll do a few highlights and we'll come right down to finishing up the rocks and other parts of our there we go all right now every castle deserves a window right i always like to think of uh, lighthouses as castles and, you know, a little fair maiden hangs out in there. Yeah, it's still tacky, so. There you go. And there's always a fair maiden up in one of these. That's looking for a little prince. Or a little toad she can kiss and become a prince. All right. Now. Let's get a little bit of that color right here this is the highlight we'll take some of our dark color we've been using and there it is all right and that's going to become our highlight show you what i mean all righty right up here on the right side okay sun sitting there so I'm going to go ahead and just bring that over with my finger and there we are reload come up on the railing see and right around the top and then of course we have the fence itself let's keep all the people from staying up there and not falling off all righty